Hello, Ravens fans, and welcome to another Spotlight Ravens series. I'm Aaron Schneider, the Sports Information Director at Anderson University, and joining us is our head women's golf coach and assistant women's basketball coach, Morgan Douglas. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Great to be here. All right, cool. So to kick, um, kick things off, tell us about where you're from. Yeah, so I am from a small town in Hamilton, Georgia. Um, grew up there pretty much my whole life, and uh, yeah, pretty small. So, okay. So, what get? Uh, well, you're well. You, most of your career is involved, like with basketball. How did you get get into that? Yeah. So, um, I really got into it when I was really little, and just kind of fell in love with the sport. Uh, played it all growing up, and then played it in college at Covenant College, and uh, just kind of fell in love with it. And I had some really amazing coaches, so they kind of uh, influenced me. A lot in it and it was just awesome all right so so the, um you mentioned into our next question about um you know you you um played at covenant for four years um so i mean so that answers that what did you graduate in yeah so i majored in interdisciplinary studies so i had concentrations in english psychology and coaching okay and then um when, when we wrote your press release in your bio, I mentioned this a little bit, but it'd be cool to dive a little bit more deeper into this. Tell, tell a little bit about your senior seminar that you did. Yeah, so um, for my senior project, I really kind of dive deep into sports psychology and how it affects like the confidence in athletes um, and how different skills like mental training, like positive self-talk, um, honestly, different things like that, how it can improve an athlete's confidence. So uh, I worked with our softball team at the time and kind of put all of their athletes through a bunch of different training programs and um, just kind of studied how their confidence levels kind of rose um, and dipped in and out of the season and how some of those like mental training skills kind of helped improve some of it. Okay. And then going, going on, kind of answering the next question for you. So you stay... So you stayed at Covenant, Covenant and did two years as a GA with the women's basketball. Was that, was that your MBA? Yes. Yeah, so I okay. um, studied sport administration. Um, oh, okay. Got my master's during that time. Okay. Did you, um, how, when did you know that you wanted to get into coaching? Yeah, so uh, my senior year of college, I of my undergrad, I thought I was going to go into sports psychology, go do a master's somewhere and uh, become a sports psychologist. But kind of the last few months of the year before graduation, I spent a lot of time with um, our head coach at the time um, and went on a lot of walks and just kind of decided that coaching was something I was really interested in um, and kind of bringing in like the psychology part of it and like my love for um, athletics and everything into coaching and my love for people, like it all just kind of made sense. And so it really wasn't until the last few months of college that I was like, oh yeah, I definitely want to, um, do this. But growing up, I always thought like coaching could be something really awesome and, uh, I might do it in the future, but never really settled on it until kind of, I had a lot of those conversations with her. Yeah. Honest, honestly, I would say mine was, you know, when it comes to like my pursuit, like in sports information, I was kind of in a, in a similar boat where I kind of had a few things, but really, really committing to sports information. It was, uh, it, it wasn't till late, really late in my college career where I did that. Yeah. Um, so finally, get, as far as your, your new role at Anderson, uh, tell, uh, tell a little bit more about that, how that all developed. Yeah, so I was, uh, like you said, the graduate assistant at Covenant College where Coach Jen, the new uh, women's basketball head coach here, um, he was the assistant there. And then he uh, got the job here at Anderson and um, I kind of looked into the school and uh, applied and kind of connected with him really well. So um, yeah, I just really believed in what the school is doing, what he was doing and um, everything. So applied to be the assistant and the women's golf coach and everything. So that's kind of how I got into it. Um, but yeah. Sir, I mean, obviously, um, you know, coach Jen getting hired, um, that's, I mean, that was, that played a big role in your decision 
obviously, mm -hmm. but um, was there anything else that stuck out like as far as uh, as far as Anderson University itself? Yeah, no, for sure. I think um, Anderson is such an awesome place and it stands for a lot of things that I really agree with and believe in. And I think it's like a safe place where you can come as you are, but kind of leave having taken that next step like God wants you to take. So I'm super passionate about like pouring into people and uh, wherever they're at. So I think Anderson kind of like does that as a whole. Um, and I wanted to be a part of that. Okay. And then, and then tell me how, what, what the mindset you're coming into as far as doing this dual role, not only as an assistant women's basketball coach, but becoming a head coach for the first time with the women's golf program. Yeah, no, I'm super excited. I think um, that it'll be a ton of fun. Our golfers come on Saturday, so that's exciting. But um, yeah, I think I'm just coming in with a mindset of just coming in and being ready to love each team really, really well um, and kind of pour into their lives and um, do those things for both programs. And you really, um, and also you really tapped into um, your two years as an assistant at Covenant. You really um, got, really got to tap into your recruiting skills. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Going on to the next segment of que um, questions. First, who is your inspiration and why? Yeah. So, um, I think I've been inspired by a lot of amazing people in my life. Uh, I definitely say my parents are kind of a big reason for, uh, what I do. I think that they, show me every day what it means to love others really well. Um, and I wanted to be able to do that. And I think coaching is one way um, that I get to kind of combine my love for these sports with those things. Um, but definitely, you know, they inspire me every day, just the way they uh, live out their lives for Christ and um, show me Jesus and love every day. But yeah. Okay. Um, what is your driving force slash motivation and why? Yeah, just kind of what I've already talked about. I mean, my motivation behind coaching is uh, people and it's I want to um, help, you know, young athletes become the best that they can be in their skill, uh, in their sport. Um, but I also want them to grow in like every area of their life. So that's kind of like what motivates me every day. I think um, the Lord kind of calls us to, you know, be kind of people who push others towards him and um, I think, yeah, I'm just really motivated to help people grow in all areas of their lives. Okay. What is your favorite aspect about sports and why? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I love sports. I think they're awesome. I think just the idea of playing for something bigger than yourself and, um, playing for the teammate next to you is something that I just really, really love. I think it helps, um, one just helps you win games when you're playing together as a team, mm -hmm. but I think it's just an awesome idea and thought that you know it's something bigger than than you and when you look over and you're playing with your best friends you're like man I'm doing all these little things to help us win but also for the girl next to me so I just think that's super cool and it helps make everything a lot of fun yeah absolutely um have you have you played any um have you played any other sports outside of basketball yeah, so I played golf growing up. I never competed like in college or anything, but mm -hmm. uh, in high school, I played volleyball. And despite being 5'5", five, five, I was a middle blocker. So I don't think that was okay. my, uh, what I was going to do for the rest of my life, but it was a lot of fun in high school. So, All right. That's, uh, and then so, and then other than the sport you coach, what's your favorite sport? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I, should yeah, clear, than... I should clarify also to, um, just because you might have different answers to watch and then to play. Okay, yeah. Uh, to watch and honestly to play, I think volleyball is super fun. Like it's super action packed, just like um, like basketball is, and it's super like technical, like golf and everything. So uh, I played it in high school, so I had a ton of fun playing it. But I think it's also just like awesome to watch, and teams get really hyped, so that's always awesome. All right, going into the next segment of questions. First, what is your favorite kind of pizza? Uh, great question. You know, I am a sucker for just a classic pepperoni pizza, like put some fresh mozzarella on it, it's great. Okay, um, what is your favorite sports team? Uh, any 
Atlanta team, so being from Georgia, but uh, I love the Atlanta Hawks, uh, the Atlanta Dream, everything like that. Okay. Um, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be? Um, I would go to New Zealand. I think it's super pretty. And also that's where they filmed The Hobbit. So I think that's cool. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, what is your favorite movie? Uh, my favorite movie is the Star Wars series, the original one. So pretty big nerd about it, but I think- There you really go. Cool. <laughs> All right. Um, if, you could, if you could turn any activity into an Olympic sport, what would be a good chance of you getting a medal in? Um, you know, it's really strange, but I would be a master packer. So I think I could get a gold medal in like packing things really well, which is weird, but I could do it. Okay. I am, for the record, I am not, like I'm really bad with being efficient with stuff like that, but but my dad is really good at it. He's uh, that's that's like right in his alley. <laughs> I love it. Um, have you traveled outside the country? If so, where? Yeah, so I've been to a few different places. Uh, I've been to Mexico, to Italy. I've been to Guatemala on a mission trip, which was one of my favorite things. So okay. Um, what is your favorite TV show? Um, my favorite TV show. I really love The Flash. It's a superhero show. It's awesome. Okay. What's, I mean, what's that, um, what's that about? Because I haven't really, um, yeah. I don't know too much about it. Yeah, no, it's about, uh, The Flash. He's a superhero. Barry Allen, he gets struck by lightning and he has super speed. So he goes around saving people. All right, cool. Um, what is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving, um, mainly because that's kind of a, a time of the year where I get to see all of my family. We come together and then you get to eat really good food. You got it. Um, you got a favorite go to food on that or is it? I, I mean, that I, I'm not sure I'd be able to answer too much of myself. I've got like three or four staples that you've got to have it. A Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you can't go wrong with turkey, but my mom makes incredible stuffing. So that's kind yep. of my favorite part. My staples are, I mean, I mean, well, turkey, obviously, but the three you've got to have, in my opinion, are stuffing, mashed potatoes and gravy, and green bean casserole with the, oh, nice. with the little fried onions on top. There you go. <laughs> and I'm, and I'm also, I also like getting the, the cranberry sauce, the pumpkin pie too. The whole meal. Um, what is your favorite condiment? My favorite condiment, uh, honey mustard. I put it on everything. Ooh, yep. That's, um, that, that's probably top three for sure. I would say, I think I'm pretty sure mine's barbecue sauce, but it's, oh. it's right in that genre. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is your lucky number? Uh, my lucky number is 33. It was my number in college for basketball. Um, yeah, it's just a good one. Did any, um, anywhere where that developed or just, um, yeah, or no, that's just I, what it happened to be? You know, it's kind of what happened to me. I started playing AU when I was uh, a ninth grader and that was the number I ended up having. And I kind of just stuck with it. Okay. I got it. Um, let's see. Yeah. If you could have any animal as a pet, what would it be? Um, you know, I would probably choose the ducks at the Indiana State Fair because they're incredibly fast and they're really fun to watch. Yeah, yeah, I, I um, watched that for, uh, that was a lot of fun doing that. And if we're, uh, if you, John and I are down there again, if, if you're in a duck race, I'm doing that too. That's right, next time. All right, um, what is the strangest nickname you have? Um, the strangest nickname that I have, you know, I don't feel like I have that many strange, nick, strange nicknames. A lot of people go with Morg or Mo or something like that. Okay. Um, when you're little, um, what did you want to um, be when you grew up? I wanted to be a killer whale trainer when I was like five years old. Okay. I was like, that would be the most cool thing I could ever do. So kind of, so just kind of like what you would do like at SeaWorld? Yeah, so you just go, you kind of do the whole show, make them do fun tricks. I was like, wow, that looks fun. Okay. Um, what hobby would you get into if time weren't an issue? Uh, I would love to try kickboxing. I think I'd be really terrible at it, but it looks like a great workout. It looks okay. really fun. There you go. 
Um, what it what would be your go to karaoke song? Uh, it would be Down by Jay Sean. Jay Sean. <laughs> okay. Um, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is probably tacos. You can't go wrong with them. Okay. Um, what is your favorite book? Cyrano de Bergerac. It's a play technically, but I love reading it and I'm a sucker for a love story. Okay. Um, what is your favorite candy? Definitely Raisinets. They're the best movie candy. Ooh. Is it because I always think I always think that you kind of have you kind of have your sugary sweet candies and you got your you know, you, you got your two food and your chocolate, you got your two food, food group ones. I didn't think about that kind of really dips in the both. It does. Really good. Um, who is your favorite band slash artist? Uh, Laney, which is a pop artist band. So they sing a lot of pop songs I really like. Okay. Um, when, when were they, um, are the, is it like something modern now or? Uh, yeah. So they started making music a few years ago. Oh, okay. All right. And then um, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Um, probably some kind of caramel flavor. Uh, anything with like caramel syrup on it, it's really yummy. All right. Ta and then going into, um, and then this can pertain to both, pro you can talk about both programs as you wish. Um, first, what would you hope it, um, each program would like to accomplish? Yeah, I mean, obviously every coach wants to win um, and kind of see their program uh, achieve things like that. Um, I think for Coach Jen and I with basketball, we really want um, our girls just to have the most fun season they can this year and to really, you know, grow kind of into who they are, and especially for our seniors, just having a great year. Um, and then for golf, I think um, it's definitely a growing program um, just from, a, from what it has been in the past. I'm really excited about that. And I'd say the same thing, just that it's a really fun year um, for my senior, for all the girls, um, and just kind of that they grow more into who they are in Christ. All right. And then when finally, when someone comes across like any of the student athletes you're, um, you coach, what's the first thing you hope comes to mind? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I hope they see our team and they're like, wow, like those girls, they're different. Like they know who we are and they're like, they love each other really well. Like they love the Lord and they just go so hard at their sports, like for both programs. All right. Well, I think I've covered the questions I wanted to. Ravens fans, thank you for tuning in. Be sure to follow along with the Spotlight Ravens series and any more content we put out on YouTube. And Coach Douglas, thank you for joining us. Thank you.